You were using noodle soup base in your cooking all along. Making me eat shoddy food, were you? Shoddy food? Trevor, don't you know about how revolutionary this stuff is? I don't give a frick. It's literally just noodle soup. Huh. Trouble busters! <clears throat> My name is Helen, and I'm an ordinary part-time housewife like you could find anywhere. Trevor, honey! Hey, Trevor! Ah, you're back now. Shake a leg, Helen, and make us some dinner. It's pretty late. How freaking long does it take you to just go shopping? It's cheaper to buy groceries in bulk, you know? Still, that ain't a reason to go out of your way to go shopping on my days off, eh? What, got a bad schedule or something? Or is it an attempt at harassment? For your information, I'm only a part-time housewife. I'm not a student, and I'd appreciate it if you could stop thinking that I have infinite time. What the hell? Your cuteness level just dropped big time with that attitude. Could you please just take half of the groceries to the kitchen? Is that why you called me? Freaking stupid. You got some nerve saying that after you ditched your promise to go grocery shopping with me. Huh. I've had it with your stupid tantrums. Awesome for a hangover, for real. Just take half the groceries at least, please. Huh. And it's a freaking day off for me anyhow. You freaking slept until noon. What are you on about? The holiday applies to me too. Eh? <laughs> There's no way that you, who makes a measly $10,300 a year, are the same as I. How about you stop looking at things narrow-mindedly, hmm? I do most of the housework to compensate, so there's no superiority or inferiority here. There is superiority and inferiority. Huh? And the difference is huge. Look at this, a room reborn. Th this is... Well, looks like I'm a capable husband after all, eh? I took care of the housework while you were gone. Huh? <laughs> Grovel at my skills, Helen. I'm working far more than you are, and I'm still faster at cleaning. You can call me Speedster. What's this? You really call stuffing all the trash under the sofa cleaning? You really think you cleaned up the place, eh? As long as you make the dirty parts invisible, that's cleaning in most people's books. Bullshit. If you're going to do it, do it properly. What the frick? I'm doing a favor and helping you out. Huh? Doing me a favor? Enough! I want my dinner now. I'm hungry after doing all the stupid housework. How dare you boss me around? Even I was trying to be kind to you at first. The reason why Trevor's housework skills haven't improved at all is that one, he gives himself a very lenient score of 80 points just by actually doing the cleaning, and two, he underestimates housewives. As a result, he's unable to be humble and became extremely arrogant at home. Unlike in the past, we now live in a world where men and women are now considered equal. Moreover, it was my husband who asked me to go out to work. And as a condition of doing so, I made him promise he'd do his share in the housework. I would at least like him to do what he promised. Are you serious? Noodle soup base in my dinner? That's freaking dog shit! So you were saying all sorts of bossy things to me while making me eat shoddy food, eh? Shoddy food? Trevor, don't you know about how revolutionary this stuff is? I don't give a frick. It's literally just noodle soup. Just a tablespoon of this can get all the flavors just right, and there is no better all-purpose seasoning than noodle soup base. I thought I told you I don't give a frick about that. <laughs> Using store-bought stuff without making any real stock in the end, eh? Hell no. Nah. What a cunning trap. So I've seriously been forced to eat such fake food until now, eh? What the? I also use the stuff for stewed meat and potatoes, you know? And you always seem to devour it deliciously. That's because I wasn't aware of this stuff's existence. Remember me making this promise to you? I would help with cleaning, shopping, and laundry, but... And yet you never freaking did anything helpful whatsoever. I would leave the cooking up to you. Indeed. So we're keeping our promises, right? Keeping them? <laughs> How so, eh? Everything you ever freaking made was a shoddy dish where you depend on that bullshit. What are you on about? You never once complained about my cooking, and now you start criticizing it as soon as you find out about the existence of noodle soup base? Goes to show how sinful that concoction is. It's more delicious if you use the authentic broth of meat or fish instead of adding that stuff to the cooking. So you essentially want me to make dinner with everything made from scratch? Obviously. That's why you're in charge of the cooking. You freaking complain to me even though you can't take care of your own duties. And another thing about you... Light bulb. I immediately understood that this was revenge for my criticism of his excuse of housework. I guess he wanted to find some bullshit to get back at me for it because he was angry at what he was told. Oh, that's so annoying. Your mother herself used to carefully measure the amounts of soy sauce, mirin, and sake while preparing the dishes, you know. Why can't you do what she does? 
That's because my mother is a full-time housewife, and I work full-time by contrast. And don't you freaking choose to use your full-time work as an excuse. Just shut up and get good at cooking. Huh. It's just simple. Ordinary. This is exactly why you can never surpass my mother's cooking. Huh. Ah, this was the worst meal ever. Who, who the frick does he think he is? What's especially stupid is that he's throwing a tantrum while completely finishing his portion. Are you seriously trying to justify your own poor housework skills by using your brain-dead theory about noodle soup base as a basis? This was the catalyst that caused my relationship with Trevor to quickly deteriorate. When we were eating thereafter, he would always judge me and ask me how I seasoned the cooking. I used noodle soup base. Any complaints? And here we go again, the frickin' damsel in distress. Ugh, I taste a concoction. At this frickin' point, I can't even tell whether I'm eating dinner or just a bowl of that stuff anymore. No, you can tell, you bastard. Just shut up and eat. Shut up and move your lower jaw. I work full time. I'm so busy. Frickin' put yourself in my damn shoes. I'm being forced to eat landfill food with these ridiculous excuses as a reason. Oh? Silent, are we? You used to always tell me the noodle soup base was delicious and revolutionary. <laughs> Seems like to you, all food in this world can only fall in two. Delicious or extremely delicious. Gosh, I'm so jealous. Uh, I'm not freaking working hard to make the money only to eat such dirt cheap garbage. As this life continued, I started thinking about divorcing this monster. His voice, his appearance, his facial expressions, literally everything became physiologically intolerable. Then a huge event occurred that made me quickly take action to get a divorce and I finally made my move. Unforgivable. Trouble busters, initiate! This is... <laughs> this is my mom's special stock that I brought from my parents' house. There's no noodle soup bullshit in this beautiful potion of goodness. This is revolutionary. And as for you, little Miss Noodle Soup Base, mmm, very mediocre. Far inferior to what I brought home. Tastes like a rusting brick, a boot in the desert, a crumbling ghetto, the literal bottom line of seasonings. Huh? And next, mom's secret D-bomb sauce inbound, bitches. Mmm, oh wow. It's already wildly different because of the scent. And now the taste test. <laughs> Amazing. This is the real deal. It is on a wildly different dimension than low-life noodle soup butt crack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. There's only one more bite left. Hell yeah. This is nothing like that dumpster soup. This is freaking God's here. Oh, is that so? But the delicious food you're eating right now, that's my special darkness noodle soup base. What the hell, man? By the way, what was placed on the table in the first place was the sauce that your mother gave you. So now you understand? That's what your taste is like. You deceived me. I don't think so, Trevor. It's your self-destruction. <laughs> your criticism of that seasoning is so brutal every time, and I decided to settle everything once and for all. In fact, even now, you were like, still a stupid noodle soup-based dinner? You really are a genius at sucking. Ah, oh, I want to have mom's cooking from yesterday. That had no damn concoction in it. Trevor? Yes? Your recent behavior is truly childish. You let frickin' noodle soup base govern your life and emotions, and as I mentioned earlier... Amazing! I just knew that your cooking was the absolute best, Mom. Oh, silly Trevor of mine. We have plenty of seconds, too, so don't disappoint me. Still, having this for dinner is quite courageous. I'll be honest, you'll get pot-bellied in no time, Trevor. I don't care about the pot belly. I just wanted to eat mom's recipe so badly. That. I just knew he was up to something. After all, the seasoning that my wife makes is noodle soup base. Noodle, noodle soup, soup base? base? Well, I mean, it's not like it's inedible, but I still think that people ought to cook properly without cheating like that. Hey, Helen, dear, don't you think that's a little too far? That's right, noodle soup base is a corrupt item. You got some nerve bringing that into the home, eh? This one is pretty damn scandalous. <laughs> Ellen, dear, a wife will get cheated unless she grabs her husband by the stomach, you know. <laughs> 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 
I cannot believe a fellow woman would do such a thing to a husband who works hard every day, no less. <laughs> but, ma'am, I'm out there, too. And yep, she always says this, too, to emphasize she also works full-time. Even if you do work part-time, it's like one of those low-paying jobs with an annual income of $10,300, isn't it? Uh, huh. Damn it, man, like brother like sister for real. As expected of a family bred from the same gene pool. I guess you're just not too good at managing time. I can't bear to let my son's eating habits become so poor because of this, Helen. Do you get it now, Dad? Sis, this is all true. She always makes me dirt cheap dishes. Lots of cheating involved, too. Ah, uh, this is what I'm talking about. I think I ought to go back home a few times a week. Good idea. You do that, sweetheart. <laughs> no, that's... you see, right? I mean, look, we have our own life together. If you think so, frickin' show me a world where noodle soup base doesn't exist. Frickin' enough with that bullshit. It's not like the olive oil that some handsome celebrities pour and everything is slimmed down, you know? That's right. If you like it that much, I dare you to drink that sauce. You dare me? Even those people never drink olive oil directly. The behavior of you and your family last night was terrible. How dare you disparage me when I'm completely isolated? Isn't that cowardly? That was the voice of the general public. No, no. That was an organizational ploy made by your family. Your criticism of my beliefs, it's way past that level now. It's become oppression by this point. Both your mother and sister are full-time professional housewives, so they are neither helpful nor persuasive. What the hell, Helen? If you thought so, you should have just said so. How can I say that? Apologize. Huh? For what? For resorting to something so cowardly, for using the world's most oppressive audience to back you up, and also, I want you to confess. C confess Admit it. You're honestly okay with me using noodle soup base in my cooking, aren't you? Eh? I I'm not okay with it. I'm a self-proclaimed bon vivant. And yet you gobbled up dumpster food, as you call it. That's a countermeasure against wasting food! And also, I don't have any business with this bullshit anymore. So don't you dare think you can do something like this and get away with it, eh? What will you do? We're divorcing. Finally! What? A 50-50 housework system is a complete failure with you. It's fine if you're trying hard, but while I've no clue where you get that pride from, but you don't listen to my advice at all. I do all the cleaning, laundry, and dishes all over again afterwards. But you're a crackhead who pretends not to give a shit, laughs, criticizes, plays video games, a contradictory monster who heavily insults me for using noodle soup base while devouring the entire plate. Every time you mentioned you were helping me, you donned a cocky expression. Newsflash, buddy, you never helped me. Then at your family's house, you held me by the throat grinning all the while with your abusive family stabbing me from all angles. And lastly, you complained that your own mother's homemade sauce tasted mediocre and said that my special darkness blend was delicious. Such overkill and you have no sense of taste. I feel honored to be able to say goodbye to you. To be honest though, I thought it would be immature or stupid to break up with you over something like this. But your voice, face, demeanor, and personality all became something physiologically intolerable for me. If you had just stopped and apologized in the end, though, you may have still had a chance. Uh, uh chance? What about now? Oh, hell no, nah, of course not. What? You can't be serious. I am. Huh? What? Uh, seriously? You said you wanted to get divorced, right? Uh, uh, yes, I did say that. But that's just to make you reflect on your actions, and I don't really mean it. Ah, so that's why you released a lethal weapon for married couple, eh? To blackmail me? But, uh, that was a gamble, I'm telling you. Hey, are you truly alright with a divorce? You'll definitely regret it if you don't decide to divorce now. <laughs> ah, I hate it. The face of a person I hate. If it was possible, I'd like him to live with his face buried out with the mosaics. I warned you, didn't I? That you let frickin' noodle soup base govern your life and emotions? Go back to mommy and spend your life eating her frickin' famous ass cooking. W wait, Helen, let's talk about this. I gotta piss real quick, though. Stay here until I'm done, yeah? I believe in you. Phew. Come on now, no one is foolish enough to wait when told to wait. 
Of course, it's far more meaningful to quickly cut ties with the person you've grown to despise with a passion and start a new life. Ah, little Miss Noodle Soup Base, my darling. Alone together at last. Please continue to support my cooking, okay? And so I decided to part ways with Trevor. Well, I knew for the most part that divorce was imminent, so I filled out the divorce forms. Signed and stamped them and packed up my things. Oh, did he fill out the divorce papers, I wonder? Hello? Helen, please, please, come back to me. Oh, hell nah. I'm so sorry. I couldn't understand your feelings about everything. And that's precisely why we broke up, Mr. Davis. Hold on. Please, give me another chance. No can do, bucko. That's impossible. Why? Because as a human being, you have become physiologically impossible for me to tolerate you in all aspects. I would rather live with ravens than you, that's the truth. What the? Am I the same as a stupid raven? Don't be rude, Mr. Davis. Ravens are better by far. The room has been a huge mess since you left, Helen. Because you never listened to my instructions. I can't cook to my satisfaction, so I only eat convenience store food these days. I wanted to go back to my parents' house, but since my sister Megan and her family were already back home with my parents backing them and backstabbing me in the process, long story short, I can't go back home. Ah, I see. Looks like the Davises aren't recruiting any more parasites to support, so looks like you'll have no choice but to live alone or remarry. I can't imagine remarrying. All I can think about is you, Helen. Thank you for the inconvenience. Stop this now. Please! I'll do whatever it takes to regain your trust, so please! Ugh. Yeah, this guy's no good. I need to do something about this quickly. What's the point of initiating a divorce and then stubbornly refusing it when the time comes? <laughs> I don't have any feelings for him anymore, so no matter how persistent he is, my decision stands. Please, Helen! Shut the frick up! I'm telling you no! No! A million times no! Once a woman feels this way, it's over. It's beyond repair. What you can do for me now is to quickly back the frick off so I can move on into the future. That's the only thing possible. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Good. Now, as for the divorce forms. If I do that, what will you do for me in return? Frickin' nothing, you smelly-ass bastard. B -b -b Please don't get angry, Helen. I, I love you, darling. I love you. I love you with all my heart and soul. This is not an exchange between a graduate and a younger student during a ceremony. Please reconsider this. And I'm telling you, I don't have any intention of doing that. Please, Helen. Oh my god, back the frick off. You're dead to me. Are you actually sane? You're freaking forcing your feelings on someone even though they say they hate you so much? But even you put your own feelings first and refuse to come back to me. The same applies to you, really. Talking back at me at this stage, eh? I wanted to avoid it because it'd be a waste of money, but I will leave future communications to my lawyer. What? A, a lawyer? If you put a lawyer in between us, wouldn't it be like a divorce has been decided? Divorce will be decided sooner or later. Frick off, prick. Wait, Helen, listen, listen to me. Uh, Helen? Due to some circumstances, this number cannot be reached at this time. Helen! <laughs> After that, through my attorney, Mitchell, I officially divorced Trevor and was able to take the first step towards a new life. On the other hand, Trevor was completely unable to live alone, so he partly forced his way back home to live off of his parents. A battle began between Trevor and his sister Megan ensued, with my former mother-in-law Celia siding with her son and my former father-in-law George siding with his daughter. The atmosphere in the house is currently very bad, and Megan's husband Warren eventually became so uncomfortable that he ran away. I guess it's a bit like Cain and Abel, but on a family scale, for real. <laughs> I am truly glad that I was able to leave them. Ah, <sighs> phew. Delicious. And as of today, I enjoy myself perfecting various dishes using noodle soup base. If I have a chance to remarry next time, I'd like it to be with a gentleman who understands my struggles as a part-time housewife and my unfathomable ability to make do with this seasoning. Troublebusters! Busters!